How's it going guys? Me, David here for a shave. Yes, I know it's been a while. Um, summer is starting to wrap up and hopefully it won't be so damn hot. Get, let me, let me see something. Let me see if I have this little lens right here. Actually, the picture looks a little clearer. So I guess my camera was a little bit on the foggy side. I don't actually pay attention to the camera all that much. I'm not one of those guys that take selfies, so I don't see it until I'm doing this shit. But of course, I guess you can consider this just one long, excessive selfie, but hey, that's up to you to debate. Um, yes, it has been a while. Again, haven't been doing videos because it's just so damn hot in this restroom. The weather's getting nicer, though. So I do think I'll be, I'll be doing things a little bit more often. Um, we have not had a single day in the 90s, I think, in the past couple weeks. So it's kind of bringing the general temperature down here. Me, I'm a little... A little sweaty, not too bad. So I hope soon to be able to resume doing videos. Not probably not uh not not all five days a week, but hey, I'd be like like to pump out at least a couple videos a week. And um well God willing, I'll be able to do that. So today, what I got here from my buddy Douglas Mike over at Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. And hi Fran, just in case you're watching this, which you might because the only videos that Douglas ever watches of mine are the ones that I do on his crap. Well, today I have a much anticipated Bakelite slant. Yeah, open comb slant, yeah. So specifically the Bakelite open comb slant double edge safety razor. So this is it. This razor design is based off of the Fasan. I already have a blade on it. So that's on there nice. Super lightweight. I don't know what the the molecular structure difference between plastic and bakelite bakelite, but Douglas is absolutely obsessed with Bakelite, so I'm going to check it out. Uh, just uh, go over so a couple of the features right here. Super light, hollowed out handle. Look, obviously, you can't see light in there. It's a black razor, and that's a black hole. So, But it is a hollowed out, super light razor. I used to not like light razors. Now I don't mind so much. Actually, I don't mind at all. You know, I have a few light razors, some, some vintage, some new production, like Douglas's double open comb, and I also have like some of the vintage Gillettes, which are super light. I really enjoy them. So, the light razors don't bug me no more. Obviously, this is an open comb razor, very funky slanted design. One feature I love, and let me see, can I get a light? I don't know if you can see those posts. There we go. That's a pretty good vantage point of them right there. The posts from the top cap go all the way through the base plate. Really helps secure a blade really, really well. Um, that's a feature that I think the only other razors now that have that are like the Fat Tip Piccolo. That have the posts that go all the way down. Some of the vintage Gillettes have them. And I'm sure other vintages have them. But not many of the modern production razors actually have that feature. And, well, cosmetically I like it. And I think just functionality is just really, really good. I think it locks in the blade really good. So, little thing on this one here. Um, if you buy this razor, you really have to really kind of tighten this handle on real good. Be careful because I did, I was holding on to it so tight to, to just the tabs part that I actually did cut myself. Let's see if you can see a little cut. Yeah, you can see that little cut right there. So I did cut myself holding on to it so tight. So just make sure you keep your hands down here on the base plate. That'll help, that'll keep you because what this razor, what this top cap and base does, it really torques the double edge razor blade to get at to the angle that it's supposed to be. So it's, there's a lot of bend. There's a whole lot of bend in the blade right now. And you really have to get, get that handle on there to get that appropriate bend. You hear the creaking and the cracking sounding and stuff. But that's just the blade getting in order. I tightened it enough to where I could see that blade looking nice and even, not wavy. I found that if you leave it too loose that the blade looks a little wavy and stuff. And nah, I'm not having that. So the blade looks really straight all the way along. Torque to the perfect amount, I suppose. So, since I am using one of Douglas' stuff, I am going to use today, oh, and also, about a week ago, my two-year anniversary past of making YouTube videos. So, I've been on YouTube for two years now. So, I thought I'd use one of my very first, uh, since it's a two-year anniversary of my first video, I thought I'd do something that I've had for about two years. And it's the How to Grow a Mustache Synergy Soap. This is the Cavendish. The very first... Uh, 
soap that I ever had from Douglas Smythe. So I was like, hey, why not? Love the scent. Always like it. It is in that old school formula that a lot of people accused of being Melton Pour. Even if it were Melton Pour, I wouldn't give a shit. I like it. I like it. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, excellent performance soap. To this day, still one of my favorite performing soaps. And the scent is fantastic. I wish I had more of the original formula ones. And my brush today is going to be a Two Band Finest TGN Knot in a stoneware handle made by Roberto Sanchez. Awesome, awesome handle, awesome brush. It's really the total package. This is a 20 mm, 28 millimeter knot. So it's a big monster. Definitely got to load well um, because this brush can hold a lot of soap and with these bigger knots if you don't load, load appropriately you can lose you know some of the, the lathers may not come out as good so I'm gonna make sure and do that so you guys usually know me I usually say what I want I don't really censor myself all too all too much I probably should censor myself a little bit more than I do and but that's just it's just not my way of doing anything and not that I like to be a complete asshole or I don't even try to be all that controversial that's not really my thing I just like to be honest and I don't like to ignore certain things and um uh Douglas You know, and then uh, some of you guys may have noticed, uh, obviously we do the white shavers round table. And even uh, good old fucking Sly, he, he always has to be one of them assholes that just has to always say some shit. Well, he said that I look bored in the white shavers round table. Well, this weekend in the white shavers round table, I wasn't bored. Um, that was actually one of the funnest ones we've had in a while, just taking it kind of old school how we traditionally used to do it. But, with that being said... I have been a little bored doing them just for the simple fact is it's a little too structured for me. Uh, something you see from a lot of the YouTubers and I think actually every single YouTuber from, from myself, from Chris Bailey, from Busta, from everybody. The ones, the, the guys that try to make their, their, their stuff too structured and and have too many guidelines and have a set show. Um, this is not CNN. It's not 2020. It's not a, a Fox News broadcast. Um, you know, so that kind of structure really kind of kills the passion for a lot of people. Um, again, you've seen Chris Bailey, the, uh, you've seen Busta take really long hiatus. The reason being, they got burned out from just trying to fit their personality into a little bit of a box and, um, fit their person personality into a little box and always do the same thing over and over again. And that has kind of, uh, w with the combination of some personal life stuff, you know, coaching football has taken a lot of, a lot of time away from me. It really put kind of like a strain on me a little bit. Well, one thing that I'm getting a little burned out from the West Shavers round table is um, having to be so structured, having to avoid controversial topics and avoid and some people will say it is talking about drama I don't think so I don't like I don't like to start drama but I don't like to act like it doesn't happen and just because a conversation can be a little awkward I don't want to avoid talking about it and unfortunately with with the round table since there's other individuals with their names associated to it I have to kind of just keep my mouth quiet. And it's, I'm just not a huge fan of that part of it. Um, I don't want to talk about just the fluff. Like a big part of this community is talking about what we go through in the community and talking about the state of the community. And we've kind of just going on over a year now, it, uh, avoided and ignored anything that's gone on in like current events in the community and that just kind of like 
you know, it is what it is. It's a lot of fun. I love the guys. I will continue to do it, but I am going to take a couple weeks off. Just coming up uh, these next couple weeks off just to kind of, uh, just kind of reload and revamp. And probably with me being able to do my own videos now and not have to just ignore what goes on. Um, maybe that'll help, help keep my interest so I could use my videos here to say and talk about the state of the community, to have my own little state of the community address, and then be on the West Shavers Roundtable and be in that more structured environment. So, um, yeah, so uh, next couple of weeks I will be taking off from the, um, from the West Shavers Roundtable. It's, it's just personal days, just I need it. You know, I haven't looked very attentive. I agree, even though Sly's a dick for saying it. Um, it's true. I, I, it, I've been dragging a little bit. So, and that's not okay. That's not okay. The show deserves better. The, the audience deserves better. But I promise you, I will be back better. Again, you gotta recharge the battery. So, here we are. Not to the real, uh, star of the show. The Bakelite Open Comb Slant. Let's check it out. I'm not that experienced with slant. I have the Stealth Slant. And that's pretty much it. I haven't really worked with much. And I worked with the ATT slang, which was god-awful for me. I hated it. Loved the regular ATT razors, but the slant was absolute trash for me. Great construction, but just I could not get used to the way it needed to be used. Just couldn't. So, here we go. Let's check this out. Tons of blade exposure. So, don't get scared. Trust in your technique. You should be fine. Don't rush, though. Don't be a complete jack. So, let's go. So oh, because the razor is nice and tight on here, you can see on this side, there's not a huge blade gap. So don't be scared. Just because there is a, there's a lot of blade exposure, you don't want to be completely frightened at the at, at, at all of it because the gap is nice and tight to the open comb. And I'm going to go super light on the pressure. It is an open comb, so those have a tendency to be inherently a little bit aggressive, a lot of blaze exposure, so, and I've just never used a razor of this type, so I'm going to make sure I don't kill myself with it, but, oh, and just so you guys know, I do have a Persona Lab Blue in it, so. For the last, like, couple months, I've almost exclusively been using the uh, Rockwell razors, the Rockwell razor, uh, razor blades, and it's been uh, pretty damn nice. The goatee is still alive and well. Again, sorry, Chris Bailey. You know, and I seen that comment that Sly made. And I sat around thinking what it could be. And yeah, that was the determination I came up to that. Just the, the super structure nature of it. And the fact that we have to stay so, I guess, politically correct. And it's not to say politically correct when you're talking about doing anything with Douglas because he's an oddball. But we have to stay a little politically correct and be impartial and not give opinions on any like real hard takes on anything so it just, it's probably just being a little difficult for me so super light pressure i still feel a lot of hair down here and i'm gonna go against the grain so let's see but as you can see though at least it's the appearance of cutting off most of my damn hair so it's cutting and i do three passes anyway so it's not like i care how smooth it is after the first pass but i thought i'd mention it Douglas, Douglas, if you ever make a commemorative soap for me, make it in the original formula. I think it would be genius. I think it would sell like hotcakes. Mm. And this one is the Cavendish scent. And I think the Cavendish in the old formula, the scent just came out the best. I think that was just the absolute standout scent for, in my opinion. 
Um, I also have Bailey's uh, Irish Cream. And that one came out really great. But something that Douglas had told me in a conversation is one of the ingredients that he used in this original formula almost gave like a cheesy scent to it. So some of the other scents didn't come out the way he liked it. I guess that's why he started reformulating and whatnot. Love the performance of this, but I did catch that little that little oddness to some of the other scents. Hence why I didn't buy those. Um, but these are really good. The Bailey's Irish Cream and the Cavendish did come out really nice. So I'm going really light pressure, but I think I may be almost going too light. Just being a little paranoid. Douglas made sure to tell me, hey, do not, but me and tell everybody on the round table yesterday, make sure to do not try to push hard just because you feel that the razor is light. So I think I'm actually overdoing it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing any kind of pressure. So I just got to get a little comfortable with it. Hi, honey. Hi, babe. Dinner's almost ready, okay? Great. So, dinner's almost ready. We're gonna have some ceviche, so that's always good. So with this against the grain pass, I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. I think I'm adjusting to the weight. It just feels a little bit more natural in my hand now. And the technique I trust is just the pressure I'm not trying to kill myself. Because again, a lot of blade exposure, but still not a lot of blade gap. So I think that helps balance it out. So it's not going to be overly aggressive. But it's cutting. Ooh, my cheeks feel pretty nice already. Get that all nice. Nice and big knot. This is a knot that I'm really surprised doesn't get talked about. Everybody's so like fascinated right now in this current run with uh, brush makers finding their own knots, their own vendors for knots. That they forget about stuff that's really badass that already exists. This knot's nice. And I think it costs for a 28 millimeter like 25 bucks. If that, I could be wrong, could be even cheaper, but it's just like two band finest, super soft, pillowy, gigantic, and a hell of a performer. Look at that. I think their two band finest performs better than their, their premium silver tip. So, but yeah, it was just such an like, ignored and not talked about knot. It's a shame. This razor is really easy to use. I'm finding the cutting angle really, really easy. The goatee is getting along, so I do have to help assist myself in getting it out of the way. It is the first Sunday of NFL. And my Raiders with the comeback win against the New Orleans Saints. Again, sorry, Chris Bailey. It was a hell of a game, man. Drew Brees was picking us apart the whole day. And just um, 
with composure by Derek Carr to be able to lead the team back. Um, being such a young quarterback, he's in his third year, and just to show some poise in a very hostile environment over in New Orleans. New Orleans is a difficult, difficult place to win. And um, I'm just really impressed, and I'm glad that uh, our team is in his hands. So I'm going to wash off and see how the final feel is on, on my face. Hmm, hell of a job on my neck. I went down towards the bottom. I did the across the grain, then I did a like a against the grain, right? And that came out really, really nice. So let's see. I'm gonna pat myself dry. Let's just set a feel. BBS on the cheeks. Hell of a job. I missed a little spot right here. BBS on my neck on this side and most of my neck over here. So hell of a job with this razor. I'll probably use it exclusively for the next week or so just to get a really good feel for it. But the Persona Lab Blue Blade in this thing worked really, really nice. Um, I do imagine that using like a feather, like um, Rico said yesterday, would be a little intimidating and probably difficult. It may be a little too much, but a nice um, sharp, smooth blade. I don't want to say middle of the road because it's a little bit, it's such a good quality blade that I don't like calling it middle of the road, but I guess in terms of aggressiveness, it's the middle of the, world, the, the road, but awesome job. I like it. Left me smooth as can be right now. So again, I got to perfect my technique a little bit on the neck with this razor, but it's kind of a job. It, it's just what I come to expect from Douglas. Um, he is a buddy of mine and no, I won't kiss his ass. So this is a, this is, this is true, you know? It is a little weird that it's so, I have to turn the cap so hard. I mean, turn the, the handle so hard. So I'm a little worried about uh, snapping off the screw, which it is a brass screw. So I'm sure that helps out as opposed to being plastic. It's a brass screw. So that's a nice, uh, that's a nice design element. Just to maybe, no, I don't want to fucking, I don't want to cut myself again right now. I want to be careful. But yeah, the screw on here is brass or some kind of brass like material. It looks brass. It's the color of brass, but Hell if I know, it could be copper for all I know. I haven't asked, and I probably should, but um, all in all, really, really nice. And I just, I expect Douglas to to do put out good products. Um, he does tire, tirelessly test and develop stuff, so um, I'd be really surprised if he brought out a product that was trash. It, it, it'd be a shocker to me, so. Um, the Bakelite Slant at a hell of a price right now. And it comes in this nifty box, too. The box is pretty easy. Pretty sassy right here. Don't rip the box up. Douglas gets offended if you totally destroy his boxes. So I um, guess a lot of time goes into the design of the boxes. So, you know, keep it nice. I kept it nice, Douglas. See, just for you, just because I know you care. I got you, bro. So it's a good razor. What else are you going to expect from him? So check it out for yourselves. You got it comes in white and black. He sent me the black. So I, I don't know if I should be offended by it or, or I like black more, but... Why did he assume that I wanted the black? He didn't even ask me what color I wanted. He just sent me the black. Are you trying to give a message there, Douglas? So, hey, 23 minutes. My first video in a while, so I took a little long. But, hey, love you guys. I appreciate those of you guys that have been sticking with me. Um, those of you guys that have been sending me messages just to check on my well-being because I haven't been doing videos a lot lately. Um, I just want you guys to know it does mean a lot to me. And I will be around more often. And um, even hopefully I'll even be able to be on Facebook a lot more too. I haven't been able to be on there as active. This past week it kind of took uh, strides on being more active. I got involved in a few threads, uh, answered some questions that people were asking on the group. So hopefully that flow continues to happen. Um, just understand it's a real busy time for me football season. We took the W this past weekend with a 41-0 victory against the team. But we have a tough physical opponent this week in a, in a local high school that was one of my rivals growing up in my high school. But this is our non-conference play. So we scheduled with them and they're a tough physical team. So really looking forward to it. So wish us luck. And you guys will care. I'll probably do another video this week before the game. So you guys take care. Thanks.